Hey guys, welcome to my spring summer uh, pickup. Can I call it a spring summer pickup? Maybe, but it's really not a um, themed pickup. It's really just what I bought recently. And I want to share it to you guys. First thing that I purchased out of my messy pile of clothes over here is this um, vintage shirt from uh, I think the 1940s. At least that's what the uh, person who sold it to me said. Um, it's really old, as you can see. Boro Boro. Pieces of it scattered, pieced back together. I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, I'll throw it on for you guys later, probably in a B-roll, but it's really nice. It's kind of like the silhouette that I've been looking into recently. But yeah, and it has like a collar and it's like for the summer. So it's kind of like what I'm going to be wearing for the following season, I guess. Because, you know, summer, sometimes that's the season when people be like, oh, I can only wear t-shirts or um, I don't know how to do layering. Well, you've got shirts. Oh, by the way, this one's from uh, Professor E. Got it as a gift. Super nice. So um, the next one, I'll just throw it on for you guys. Here we go. This is the antique button coat with the spliced fabrics from uh, the brand called, okay, going to butcher the pronunciation, Archivio JM Rivet, correct me if I'm wrong. So you can see each of these buttons, they're sourced from, I guess, different euros in different places. Uh, kind of like one of the um, signatures for the brand. The silhouette is just um, solid. I mean, you can wear it every single day. It's not too, it's not too heavy. It's wool, but it's not too heavy. Size is perfect. I think it's a size 48 by 177 centimeters tall. So if you're looking into the brand and you want like a size in reference, then here you go. What else have we bought recently? Oh yes. One of maybe, if not my favorite purchase, by the way, I say this to every single purchase that I make. This is a apron denim apron from the brand called Dipti, which I believe is uh, the patterner of CCP. Pretty nice, right? But yeah, follow me. Like I like to show you guys some of the uh, shoes that I bought recently. Hey guys, uh, maybe this is y'all's first time seeing like my uh, shoe collection, but like this is not all of it. It's kind of messy right now, so disregard this place. But guys, just want to show you guys. These are like the Adidas runners. Super nice. Look, I got these. These are the low tops. I also have the high tops with suede. One of these since my mid-school years. Finally got it last year. I also have the sandals, so it's kind of like a full set, you know. You have the low tops, you have like... So like the one that I'm really trying to acquire is like the leather one, not suede, but like regular leather one. Black on black, low top. Uh, I found those in like a size 28, but 28 is like slightly too big for me. And also like these fit like kind of like one size larger in my opinion. So 20, 28 is too big, but like the one I'm trying to acquire is like the black on black Adidas Bitcoin's runners uh, in leather. So if you got any of you have like that for sale in a reasonable price, let me know. Maybe I post about these before, but these have like really become my everyday essentials. These are like the A1923 boots uh, with like their classic, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but uh, the zip kind of goes like this, you know, it's like separated into two. I wear these every single day. These are super nice, super comfortable. Um, got these second handed, but like doesn't really matter. They're still beautiful. You know what? I'm going to save like the rest of the shoes for like maybe I put out like a shoe collection video since I just found out I have so much I want to share with you guys. Yes, that's it. Um, see ya. Bye. Peace. Hey, what up, guys? We at uh, Hyperm right now. It's a um, showroom held by Hypebeast, Hypebeast CN. Their first official showroom. They have like another one at September. But that one's not quite official, so this is technically their first one. Got some cool brands. Most of them from me, um, from Korea, but still they got some other stuff like some cute Oakleys. It's a nice space. Um, what really caught my eye when I first entered the space is probably this jumpsuit. They're from a brand called Client Archive. Pretty cool. Coated with uh, wax, I think. Really cool stuff. It's huge. This one's solid. It's kind of like a uh, military-inspired jacket. 
run clear like SA. It's pretty nice. Kind of complements what I'm wearing today. The Dipti crashed derbies. Uh, some vintage trousers, vintage bondage trousers. T-shirt from on sale bags. Lean she styled by my mom today. <laughs> Cute to hear coins talk from a coin archive. Uh, accessories you literally have to break the thing with a hammer in order to get it out. Crazy winter jacket from a brand that I don't actually know. I have to say that it said it changes color like heat reactive fabric. What up guys, welcome back to another showroom. Same day, I uh, went to the hype room earlier today. Now we're at an uh, event during uh, Shanghai Fashion Week. It's a brand called Nolas. I'm trying on their coat right now. I guess one of the key licks from the season. Really comfortable wool coat over here. You have a leather collar, so you can wrap around your neck like this, or like you can also put it down like regularly and buckle it up with this button. You see like the other one over here. I guess this is one of their signature too. You can see them on like uh, it's consistent, you know. It's also on their shirts. I really love this look. This is amazing. It's like a leather skirt. Two straps over here. You kind of adjust it with two buckles. Really nice. And I guess another signature from the brand that you can really see that's consistent throughout the whole collection. Throughout the season, it's probably the brand tag. So in contrast to how like, you know, it's usually a tag in the back, they got rid of it. So it's actually kind of like a reverse logic towards having like a brand tag over here. They have like this nothingness, which is also special because like everyone's trying to put in so much effort in like making a brand tag, but they're doing the polar opposite of that. Found a few more items and then, uh, yeah. And then we take you to the next showroom, which I guess should be the uh, XC273 showroom. Uh, that's actually occupied by Nike right now, but I'm also really excited and let's go. Guys, it's crazy out here. We had the uh, XC273 space that they uh, just recently landed for a uh, Nike event. It says, Nike Air is not a shoe, it's a revolution. I'll show you how crazy the space is. Absolutely insane. It looks like, in my personal opinion, it looks even better without these balloons. These balloons are for the uh, Nike and Air event. But look, like they got water out here. It's crazy. At the second floor right now. Air Max 97, classic. It's the Nike um, CDJ Air Max. It's from a uh, course collaboration. One for the OG. Um, I guess they're having a um, live performance out here. It's maybe one of the models over there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Great installations. Here we just bumped into Christian. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy because they were telling me about the brand, and, and I was like, "This is this is unreal. This is amazing." And then the designer is like right over here. I'm very yeah. surprised that you were here. Right? Yeah, because I didn't tell anyone, so it's really I, out of nowhere. I guess. I watched your video, and the next day you're here in person. Oh my god! Like you, you should come to Japan. If you come to Japan, please let me know. I'll show you around to like good ramen places. You know, like it doesn't even have to be about fashion. I just feel like we get along. You Let's know what do I mean. It. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another day in Shanghai. Um, it's uh, technically our last day for the uh, Professor Yi event. Four day promotion event in uh, Shanghai. But yeah, so a lot of people came through. A lot of people show love. Uh, and I guess I'm going to show you some of the stuff here. Uh, there's some things that I really do absolutely love and adore. Like for example, these. These were not in the uh, Tokyo pop-up last month. These are super nice. I guess these are, uh, you can tell from the buttons, so also from the uh, Forgotten Materials series where they use a uh, one-off, uh, not one-off, but like dead stock materials. Okay, so this is um, the fit. Slightly flared, wider fit. I've always been looking for a pair of um, light coat trousers. Um, so when I wear these trousers, I tend to style them with this really wide, 
outfit, a um, Professor E distressed knit sweater. It's a pretty nice look. And maybe when I'm feeling good, uh, probably add these from Triangle Hats, which is a uh, brand, like a artisanal hat brand from uh, Japan, uh, all made by uh, the artisan herself. It's a brand that me and uh, the designer of this. Of Professor E. Ken, brand that we both really like. I have like a man bun over here right now. So I can't wear this properly. I feel like this could be the fit, you know. This could be like a spring day, uh, not too cold, not too warm, cozy fit. Also slightly more colorful, you know, get the spring. It's like the blossom season. And yeah, but there's still like, I, I, can, I guess I can still style these with um, Maybe this jacket, because I've always been wanting to try these on when I was here yesterday, but like there was a, like a lot of customers, so I couldn't do it. But the fabric is so nice. Like, yeah, I feel like this makes sense, you know. The crop fit, the stress sweater, wider pants. These are the uh, pop up t shirts. So we had one in Tokyo, and this one's from Shanghai, so. You know, it just says Shanghai pop up, um, the location, uh, the dates, and also we have um, the tote bag that also read Shanghai. These are like my favorite rack actually. These are the women's um, uh, regards of materials. So we see a skirt. We also use the same fabric for crop jacket and blossons for like the men's section, but these are absolutely amazing. These are also super nice. Kind of like the Yoji vibe, you know, uh, with this part of the fabric being slightly elongated and, um, you know, the tie-ups over here, you can wear this several ways. I probably couldn't put this off because I'm not really good with light colored stuff. I mean, these are dyed with mud. Like, look at this color. This is amazing. Like, imagine, like, you can style these outside of these trousers. Imagine how good it looks. It also kind of complements this jacket. Hi, I'm Connor. He's a he's a really uh, he's a really nice dude. He came through. He came all the way from uh, Ningbo, right? Yeah. Kind of like a two hour two hour train ride to uh, check out the pop up and to say hi. Um, yeah, and he, and he asked if like he can be in like a video, and I was like, of course. So yeah, here he is. What up guys, uh, we're currently at Hezi studio right now, good friend of ours. I uh, based in Shanghai, she have like this little Japanese looking tea room um, in her spot. It's also her showroom and uh, sometimes she lives here too. So it's like a everything in one kind of studio. Uh, I just finished the uh, uh, Professor Yi pop up today. So I'm like really stressed out, but uh, I saw some great stuff and I thought that maybe it would be cool if I share with you guys. I'm also wearing their stuff right now. This is how it looks, you know, kind of like that old traditional Chinese mixed with a bit of the uh, Japanese looking aesthetic slash vibe. I like it. It's uh, not what I'll wear on the regular, but it is a great look and they have some good stuff. So this is another jacket that I tried on earlier. Probably show you all a bureau of it. Most of her stuff are made out of a uh, dead stock fabrics, which means that she could only make a few pieces for uh, each of her items. So that's why you can see the same silhouette in that uh, fabric and in these two. We're only in Shanghai for uh, five days. We spent three nights over here already in her tea room, so super nice. By the way, y'all, this shirt is bomb. It's really good. Also made out of uh, vegetable tannin, uh, hand dyed material, one off fabric. This one's crazy. This one's in the books. Absolutely love the fabric, like how it wrinkles up the raw edge of it. Really nice. This could be this could be really popular. This has potential. It's real nice stuff. It's a, uh, my last day in Shanghai. Came here to my friend's uh, workplace. He's not in this room right now. I thought this could be like a nice way to end this Shanghai vlog. Since uh, you know we went to other showrooms. I show you some other people's clothes. We talk about zizhi, we talk about nulles. Now I want to show y'all a brand called Rocksteady. If he is, 
What's up, guys? This is actually the 23 for winter. Class. Oh, yeah, also from last year. Right? Yeah, yeah, these are from so last, last year. Thing. Inspiration is actually Michael Jackson. Oh, Michael Jackson? Yeah, you need. You remember the like the band? Oh yeah, they have like a, yeah. Uh, they have a thing they around. They actually made this thing like a patch. The core for the brand Rocksteady is the more than cowboy. It's like the way of life we picture mm -hmm. how a cowboy would live for a more than. You see this one? It says "艺术家". <laughs> Ruko in Chinese is like the uh, entry for the artist. By the way, this is a really impressive uh, <laughs> footwear collection. Uh, this yeah, from it's from Alix, right? Alix Montclair. Yeah, Alix Montclair. Uh, these are the Rick Owens Dunk. Rick Dunks. The CCP Drip Sneakers. The our Legacy. Our, our Legacy. Yeah. Uh, are these you seen along? Yeah, I seen along. I it's have, like, uh, a, uh, I think I got them from Barnes. Oh, for Barnes? When I, when I was in USC. Yes. Oh, okay. I also got these in 2019. I have like the other colorway. Still the in the same one, Wyatt. Yeah, the Wyatt. Yeah, but like in a gray, grayish colorway. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Yeah. This, this is a little a episode. One of the shoes I got. Right. Most of them I wear. I will wear. Are, oh, are over actually here. here. Yeah. Okay. So although we're talking about Rocksteady, we're actually talking about. Oh, can I step on these? Yeah, for sure. Are you? Yeah, so guys, I guess you guys are really familiar with these <laughs> if you watch my video. So some CCP tornado boots. We got the titanium toe. Yeah. And the ankle cord. These are beautiful. And these are the laser cuts, yep. right? The these bison really leather. Nice. Oh, and bison yeah. leather. Yeah. I have these low top and of course the classic ones. The prosthetic uh, tornado boots in black. Uh, kangaroo leather, right? These this are what one, you actually, wore today, right? I just got the seating from Salomon. It's oh, the yeah. broken arm yeah, collaboration. Yeah, broken arm collaboration yeah. with Salomon. This one called the Texas, I believe. A lot of these are his own clothes, which are like not rock steady. But I guess what I can show you guys are these. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I see that these to Marta, uh, Bianco's uh, girlfriend, who's the editor in chief of Gotham Magazine. Uh, she, she's been wearing these in her last, let's say, two Instagram stories. I don't yeah. know if you saw it or not, but she, she wear these all the time with like kind of like a crop top. Mm -hmm. I feel like she loved these and she she definitely is a good match in these. But this is kind of, you know, one of Rocksteady's classic silhouettes. Yeah. Kinda like the flared. This is, this one we actually call it a bell shape. Oh, the bell shape. Yeah, because okay. the flare is kind of bigger than the mm -hmm. book cut ones. Yeah, than usual, yeah. yes. I always wear this pair with some uh, cowboy boots. Oh, cowboy boots. Or some pointy boots. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah not to uh, round round head. Just make them round. not stack. Mm -hmm. like, oh, not to stack too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is one of the hard hitters for this season. This, this is, is the yes. one of my favorite since our brand was mm -hmm. founded. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the RS003. Uh -huh. These are Book also one of my, or yeah. like hands down, like my literally favorite item. Yeah. The, we actually you guys this tweaked season. this silhouette for like six to seven times. Oh, okay. So we made like six to seven pairs of different like, just to change the silhouette. Yeah, yeah, just to find the perfect fit. Find the perfect and these cut. also come in like a uh, kind of darker colorway, like yeah. similar silhouettes, right? In the black one. Yeah. These are also really nice. Yeah. These are like more toned down kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. stuff. If you want to just stay low key, this pair is actually a sample, so we don't have the tag here. Well, I really wanted to try on these. These are yeah. like his own clothes. These are from this one. You told me it's mud dye, right? Yeah, it's mud dye, and the pile is 100% uh, wool, so it's super heavy. It's really nice. Let me see the picture. Better on you. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's Because I'm kind of too, I'm bulking right now, so I'm yeah. too fit. You wanna sell it? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's super warm. The fit is perfect. Yeah. You guess where I wear uh, these jeans are from? The trousers? Mm, I don't know. Right? They they kind of resemble the helmet land thingy, but yeah. like they're not. They're uh, a band called I, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation again, but Alexandro Delacqua? It's like an I think it's like a really old Italian brand yeah, that went broke like 
maybe 10 years ago, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my perception towards this brand. But it's a perfect fit, so I was like, why not? It, lo it looks a lot better than the uh, helmet that I'm using now. Opinion. This is like your own closet, but at the same time, maybe it's where you get some of your inspirations in designing. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Right? So yeah, I, I always find it to be really interesting about, you know, the clothes uh, owners of brands or designer of brands keep because that kind of reflects you know what they design and reflects yeah. what they're thinking about but there's also a lot of clothes here yeah so maybe i also you want got to some fun stuff them. here and this one is a uh, prada uh the old one right i think it's 1997 97 98 uh, yeah th this one is really nice kind of like the retro future i really love the fur furry stuff furry stuff yeah, yeah. oh you also got the furry uh, yeah. yeah i guess these are what we're going to. yes the rig tote these are also really nice i like you kind of keep the more colorful stuff over here yeah. like the toned down ones over there right yeah uh, are, actually, are these undercover yeah these are undercover the one-off collection it's actually a oh, vintage yes, yes. rough lauren i think oh, it's a polo rough lauren yeah right? it's a polo rough yeah, yeah yeah that's great so this one they actually hand stitch the vampire oh yes, yes. patch uh -huh. it's uh, I heard from my uh, production manager that it's super hard to stitch this stuff even with hands. Oh, even with hands? Yeah. I see. So they did, so the, they, they, they did the perfect job for the patch. I hunt them down for a very good price. A very good price? I think it's uh, 6K in Chinese yuan. So I want to talk about this one. Yeah. So this, this is also from Rocksteady, right? Yeah. Rhymes by Rocksteady. It's also the last season. I see. The 22 for winter. I see. Actually. So these are PU leather. Yeah, this is actually. Incredible. We use the same leather from Nanushka. You know the brand? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's the same supplier. Fabrics is, is actually from Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. I actually love the fit and the color too. Yeah, it looks really effortless. Yeah. Right? You just like you go out in a day, you don't try too hard, and you throw on this yeah. Rocksteady jacket. It's solid. It's Prima Love too, so it's super warm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Pretty nice. Do you have anything from your closet that is not from Rocksteady, but you wish you made it? You know what I mean? Like you wish, like <laughs> you designed this thing, and you think it's so. Okay, let, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one is like my recent favorite for the whole winter time. Oh wow, it's pretty colorful for yeah. your. Style. Yeah, but it's actually it fits pretty nice. Mm -hmm. You want to try them on? Yeah, yeah. This this papa is they they fit pretty nice and the color is the I don't have like a blue and white stuff. Yeah. And I don't have a lot of play stuff. Uh -huh. That's why I, I think this jacket is super unique in my collection. I see. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, it kinda of really stands out, you know. Like yeah. when I saw it from afar I was like, that's a money cut. Yeah and I, I, <laughs> I don't need to like dress up a lot. Uh -huh. This one itself is a statement piece. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of get what you mean. You know, sometimes you just throw on something. Yeah. And then it's it's good. So yeah. it can be quite convenient. I like the Ziggy jacket. The Ziggy jacket is super nice too. I think they dyed this jacket with tea. With tea. Yeah. Okay. The soloist bomber. Oh, the soloist bomber. Yeah. This one. It's actually size 52. Mm -hmm. I never saw another size 52. So <laughs> yeah, huh. this one is like super. It's not big because you know the fit of solo is yeah, like super pretty, small. Yeah, and it must be really small. It's like super skinny. So the 52, I got it and I wear it a lot when it's mm -hmm. super cold because I think the sleeves is kind of weird because mm -hmm. they uh, feel the sleeves with super thick prima loft oh okay which makes you sweat a lot oh I see. yeah but yeah. the body part is super warm it's really nice yeah yeah i like the zipper uh, actually um we got this for our this part the design mm -hmm. we got it for the 21 for winter mm -hmm. we used the this jacket as part of the reference so we made it like a cross yeah, 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 you made like a cross. Because our old logo was a cross stuff. Oh, that was your old logo? Yeah. Okay. So we made a lot of stuff 
like a cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. You, you don't use that logo anymore? It's not a thing anymore? No, because the copyright was denied. Oh, uh, They said it's too similar to Stone Island. Oh. <laughs> and this number nine blister lambskin. Super nice. Really it's soft. a leather yeah. dawn jacket. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's down inside, right? Yeah. It must be pretty, cool pretty nice for the winter. Yeah. Re re zippers. I try them I got, on? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. I got another one in my home. It's a similar design, but uh -huh. they got like zippers here. Like two zippers here. Is it like a size is this size? This I think this is a size four, I believe. Okay, you'll probably need a size four. Yeah. Size fours are pretty rare, so But even though even though the one of the zipper is broken. Hmm. This could be a this could be a Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I guess that's uh, it for uh, the video this time around the Shanghai vlog. Again, video sponsored by Professor Yi. Go follow them, show them love, show them up to Rocksteady and other brands too. And um, yeah, I'm glad I can show y'all a lot of stuff that's happening in China because you know a lot of times you know people disregard what's happening here in the fashion scene in China because you know the VPN and other stuff people don't use Instagram whatever so there's actually a lot of cool stuff happening here and I grew up here so I want to bring this culture to the world and yeah that's about it for this video uh, see you guys next time peace